Can amplifiers cause sibilance? Sibilance? Gerald asks this question, and he is from Newfoundland, Canada. My question involves differences an amplifier can make to the sound in your speakers or to your overall sound system. I'm currently experiencing a lot of sibilance on recordings from Tidal and other sources. My speakers are tannoys, which are on the bright side, indeed, uh, but the sibilance is really annoying. I have a blue, a blue note, what is it? Blue sound note 2, a chord cute to DAC, a Moon Neo 250i integrated with wire world cables. All well-respected brands just like yours. Is the Synergy wrong in one or more of these components? The Tannoys have fabulous reviews and I like them a lot. I just need to stop the sibilance and bright highs. What would I do? Amp change, DAC change, or streamer? Well, I don't know the equipment that you have. I mean, Moon Audio has a, a, certainly a good reputation. Chord Audio is great stuff. That's a, a British company. So uh, I, I would first question your speakers. Tannoys, while they maybe get great reviews, they are pretty spitty, hot on the top end. But sibilance can drive you crazy. And it's, what a great word. Sibilance. <laughs> it just says what it is. I would go nuts with that because that's one of the things that really bothers me is that sibilant sound. And can an amplifier exacerbate sibilance? Absolutely. Amplifiers, DACs, electronics can certainly overemphasize a certain set of notes. And one of the ways they can do that is by underemphasizing or underplaying others. So for example, one of the years ago, one of the amplifiers that I was playing with, it, it, it will go unnamed. We listened to it and said, man, that just sounds bright. It's just, you know, everything's exaggerated up on the top and started wondering, you know, why would that be? Well, what we discovered is that its top end was actually really quite good. It was just missing all the body in the bottom end. So if you can imagine something that is, you know, pretty good up on top, but then it's missing the body, the meat down below, well, of course, then it's going to sound as if it has too much on the top end because relative to the bottom end, it does. And our ear focuses first on highs and second on the lower frequencies. So we assume that those are too hot when in fact those were correct, the bottom was too little. So that's always a tough call to, to define if something has too much or too little and where it is and how that can be. Also, an amplifier with too much feedback can really be sharp sounding and brittle on the top end. And, and if your speakers are like these tannoys that are pretty, pretty hot on the top end, well, anything wrong on the other side is really, it's, it, it's just going to get you. If I had to make a guess based on what you've told me, I'm going to blame your speakers. Wireworld good stuff, the electronics you've talked about is good stuff, although I don't know what your source is. You said you have, I guess that's the Blue Sound, uh, Blue Sound Note 2. Uh, I'm not all that familiar with that. And you're using Tidal. Tidal can be okay. Tidal does, I assume you're using Tidal, the, the CD quality Tidal, because MP3s can sound pretty fatiguing and they you know, regular title is, I think it's MP3, it's like 320 or something, <clears throat> um, uh, kilobits per second. You want to have the $20 version. And soon there will be a service called Cobuzz, which is a French service, which in my opinion, even CD quality to CD quality sounds significantly better than title. I'm just, title's okay. Title does all right. But for my money, 
I would pretty much go with Cobuzz when it comes into this country. It's a little more expensive, but boy, is it better. And so I'll leave you with this. Absolutely, your electronics could be the cause of that. My guess is it's your speaker or your setup. Here's what I would do. In order to figure this problem out, you're going to have to start swapping stuff. And I would first change the source. Just get a, you, you have a cord DAC. Just go out and, and get a, you know, a friend's CD player. It could just be a $20 box that you get, you know, go down to Walmart and pick up a $20 box if you don't have one. Put a, a well-recorded CD, find a good CD, and plug that into the cord, play that CD, and see if changing the source solves the problem. If it doesn't, go do the next thing. Um, if you can, change your speakers or, I know this is hard, take your speakers to a friend's house. That's, that's, I know that's, that's the tough thing to do because these changes like that are not easy to do. Lugging stuff around and it's a pain in the butt. So at, if it was my system, that's what I'd be doing. I'd be readjusting speakers. I'd be trying other people's speakers. I would be trying different sources. And, and just seeing what you can do. It would borrow somebody else's amp. That moon might be problematic for you. It's synergy, remember. We're dealing with synergy. So one may not be synergistic with the other. And I don't have enough experience with these products to help you decide which of those it is. I think uh, it's a good question, and I don't envy you your task, but you will figure it out. All right. Thanks. I appreciate it you asking. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.